Alright everyone, we're back for part two of some Breath of Fire, and uh, after sitting around for quite some time, I found out that there actually is a little video after the title screen, or during the title screen, but you gotta sit here for quite some time for the show, there we go. Alright, so now we're gonna get to watch this, and uh, get a little bit more story of what's going on. I'll just let you guys read it, I don't feel like reading. Wow, look at that. Now part one makes a little bit more sense right at the beginning. So now that we've seen that, we're going to go up and load where we left off last time. Um, boom, there we go. Um, I think it's really cool when games do you know, that little movie at the start. Because um, back then you didn't know if your game would have it, if your game wouldn't have it. You never really had an idea. I don't want to fight a bunch of poison dudes. 
Um, so you never quite knew. And uh, what people would do is they would buy their game and they'd open up the box. And back then you actually got cool boxes. And, you know, you you take out the map and you take out the bestiary because they would give you that stuff. And you start reading through the instruction manual as you leave the game on. It's just playing on your TV and you're looking at the logo. And, uh, and you're just watching all that go. And then you, you're getting through the instruction booklet so you can learn the controls and gives you a little bit of background story because they were more than just this button does this back in the day. And now games just give you like these really slow tutorials early on in the game which take forever and they're really annoying. But uh, anyway, I digress. And so you'd be looking through this to get a little bit of background and you know all that jazz. And learn more about the game that you're about to invest your time in and then suddenly BAM! a movie would start. Not just a little clip, not a little bit of background story, an actual full-on freaking movie. Like, that was four minutes of movie we just watched, you know? And so it gives you, you know, it hypes you up, it gives you the background story, it shows you what's going on, and all this good stuff, and gets you pumped up with the music, and, and then BAM! It starts you off right in front of the game, you put your instruction booklet aside, and you turn the game on, and your house is on fire, and you need to go save the day, and you're just ready to go. And that's something games just don't really do these days as well. So, anyway, picked up a couple treasure chests and we're navigating our little uh, our little dungeon here because we need to take out all these enemies so that the king can go back inside his castle. I guess that makes us castle crashers. Whoa, 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 whoa. And uh, these guys aren't too bad now since we obviously we gained a few levels in the last video. Um, spending a few minutes just to stock up a little bit since we are going solo. And uh, that won't be um, for forever. We won't be solo the whole time. So pick up a more, a more treasure chest, a couple more treasure chests. And uh, we finally get a new piece of equipment. So we go over to this little head thing and a uh, bronze sword. Um, the one thing I don't like about old RPGs, they never really formulated a good way for you to like compare and contrast equipment. So I just got to keep clicking these. I don't know what ACT means. Is that accuracy or action? Like, is that the speed, I guess, of, you know, who's going to go first? That would make sense. Um, but I got a lot more attack power for a little bit of ACT, whatever the heck it is. So I'm just going to roll with that. Um, and, you know, now that I'm looking at my item list, I kind of... I don't know. I guess I'll just put equipment over here because they're going to get the heck out of here. Um, at least it does give you this. It gives you a little question mark. Your figure will increase. So it does give you a chance to see what it is that these items do, and a lot of old RPGs don't do that even, so I'm just going to use this while I can. Vigor is up by one. That's cool. It's kind of what I expected. I'm just going to leave the Dirk over there. So just keep things nice and organized. We're a little bit more powerful now, which is good, and we're going to keep on going through this dungeon. Oh, one little poison bug. P-Bug! Boom! I like how they do the health bar and things in this game, too. It's kind of cool. You don't know exactly where they're at, but you got an idea, so that's kind of cool. Um, take another herb, what do we get in here? We got a gauntlet, so another piece of equipment for us, which is kind of cool. They're stocking us up already, and uh, what's changing here? Our defense goes up a little, wow, look at that. So we get back one of those ACTs, and our defense goes up at the same time, so it's absolutely better, so good stuff. And then I'm going to continue to reorganize this crap, even though I don't really think I need to, I'm just going to anyway. So we're already beefing up, stealing all the king's treasures, but uh, you know, that's what we get for coming on in here when his his own freaking knights are like, you're crazy, all these stinking monsters, oh crap. Well this is why we bought some, uh, some antidotes, excuse me. At least we can kill these dudes in one hit now, so that's cool. And we're poisoned. Yep, good thing we got some antidotes. And good thing they both went for poison, so it only affects us once, but... Awesome. So we didn't even get hit. Fought three dudes, didn't get hit. Just a little... Excuse me, God, just a little bit of poison. Um, I don't think poison hurts you between turns, like most RPGs, but uh, it just hurts you every step you take when you, you know, whatever. Walking through the world map of poison, so... I'm going to check over here for some treasure chests. Nope, it's blocked off with those rocks, so... And we got some more chests. And some more P-Bugs. Going to finish them off. Poison, damage, damage, alright. Take care, another antidote. Sped that one up a little bit just to see how it would work. So they still didn't hurt me. Oh, cool, I just 
totally, I hit select instead of the cancel button, and it took care of all of the menu instead of having to cancel a whole bunch of screens in a row. So that, that was kind of cool. And they give us a new helmet now. So this is another reason I wanted to buy a bunch of herbs instead of buy equipment in my initial town. Um, so let's see here. My defense seems to go up. My damage, or my magic goes down. My ACT goes way down. So I don't know what all that stuff means, but I know that as a basic dumb fighter, dude, I just want attack and defense right now, really. So I'm going to give me what whatever it is that I have. But God, whatever I have the most of those with, and that's how I'm going to roll. So if they want to give it to me, I'm going to take it. So I noticed in the last vid that uh, there's a little bit of like lag issues and it was kind of stuttering a little bit and I'm not quite sure why or how because it's not lagging for me here at all like I'm having no choppiness no blockiness and I don't understand um visor what's that but uh okay defense goes way up ACT goes down further but whatever I'll keep it um so yeah I don't know it's like I mean I've recorded obviously some PSX games with emulator and that was when I still had other programs running and when I was recording part one, I closed every program, no Mozilla Firefox, no Instant Messengers, no anything else was up. And this is an SNES game instead of a PSX game. So, I don't know, maybe the emulator I use, I use ZNES instead of SNES 9X. Maybe it just runs heavier or something like that. My computer should not be having problems running this crap. And if it keeps going, I, I don't know, I'm not happy with that quality. So, I would, oh crap. It triggered a sproing. Oh, that's cool. So much for that trap. I think the traps in this game are random. There's like a X percent chance that something bad's gonna happen. There you go, a dark mist. Or, I mean, they, they might be set. I don't know if they're set or not. It didn't poison me, though. Um, so yeah, figures I should've opened that one first, eh? Good thing I don't need magic right now. Um, so that's probably just their little tutorial of what's going on. And it looks like our little first boss fight, I suppose. It's certainly set up all... I forgot the word. Set up all certain way. You have no reason to be in my castle. Whatever, you're just a little frog. <laughs> you're not a little frog. Slimeless human. I'm going to drive you out. So we got a fight versus Big Bad Frog, dude. And uh, I'm just going to auto battle on him because there's nothing else I can do. Um, you are able to cancel the auto battle um, by pushing up some of the button. I don't remember which button it is, but if you push it during the turn, it will cancel the auto battle for you. So, what's he been doing to me? He's been doing around 5, so once I get around 10, I'm going to stop and heal. Oh, a slam! I'm going to cancel the auto battle now. Okay, I should be safe. To, no, I'll just I'll play it safe on the first time, because I know he's got two different attacks. So, I'm going to use the herb now. And uh, Alright, I probably would have been fine. I'm at, I would have been at 11 in theory. I would have hit him this turn. And what's he do? Okay, so yeah, I would have been at 4, and I would have healed, so I would have been fine, but I know he's got a second attack where he jumps and does more damage, but uh, I don't want to die in the first boss of the game. In fact, I don't want to die ever, so... Oh, he recovers? What is that garbage? Take that. I suppose it's only fair. If I heal, he heals, you know? Alright. Alright, took him out, except not. Frog seems alright. So this is a cool part. How I mentioned earlier, with like, I like the... Uh, the, um, the life bars, how you can see what their hit points are at and stuff like that. But, uh, oh, down to one! Focus band for the win! Um, but with bosses or with some enemies, they're going to be stuck at just that little sliver, and you don't know how much more it is to take for them. Sometimes it's one hit, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's more than half their health. So, it just depends. Um, I underestimated your strength, warrior. Da, 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 da. Level 6! Beefing up a little bit. Level 7! Alright, so that tells me that we probably were supposed to be higher than level 5. But that just seems a little ridiculous. Because I had to grind for a little bit to get level 5, and the rest of this place was a piece of cake. So, whatever. There goes our first boss of the game, which is obviously mostly just a trial. It's pretty tough to lose to him as long as you're like... I would say if you're level 3, it's pretty tough to lose to him. Um, obviously you can beat him at level 1 if you really need to, you just have to use a lot more heals. Um, but anyway, that completes that. 
and now the dungeon, castle, whatever, it's all nice and purified. So, um, unfortunately these rocks are still here, but there's no more fights, so we're just gonna make some noise walking over some bones. Dem bones, dem bones, dem bones, dem bones. And we just gotta re-navigate our way outside of this castle, so it seems like a good time for speeding it up, eh? Doesn't make perfect sense? It makes perfect sense to me. Speed our way through this. <laughs> No need to heal, but I suppose I will anyway. Just because I can. I just noticed that when I, uh, when I hit that speed up button, it totally messes with the clock of my screen recorder as I'm watching the seconds go up, and then I push the speed up button, the seconds stop. And in like three or four seconds, they go up really quick to catch up. It's, that's really weird, because it's not like time is moving faster or slower, just the game clock is. Anyway, I'm not a false hero. That Scar! You must be Eddie Potter! The boy who lived! The Dark Dragons must have the Quake control. There's a hidden palace. No, it's not hidden. Blah, 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 blah. So there's some quakes I gotta go stop. Now everything's all nice and hunky-dory over here. I could save, but there's no real need. I'm just going to keep on going to the next place. We already healed up, so we're just going to keep on trucking it. Oops, I didn't mean to hit the speed up button there. Like, I don't want to... I get in the bad habit of, like, abusing it, and I don't really... Slime? About time I fight a slime, the most basic dude in the game. That should have been my first fight, not double purple boar. Whatever. Yeah, I get in a bad habit of, a. Uh, Oh, I can stand on the first level, but I can't go anymore. Um, as I just tried to say like four times in a row, I get in a bad habit of trying to like spam the speed up button, and I don't really want to do that. I want to at least try and keep it slightly regular, but a couple of slimes, no big deal. I'm just going to take these cats out. Ah, you got me! Boom. So, I do like how in this RPG, Kitty... Meow! You wanna jump on my lap? Meow! No, you just want me to feed you. Meow! You can still jump on my lap, though. Do it! Do it! Or rub up against my leg. Anyway, I do like in this game how in a lot of RPGs you'll have your melee characters just sit there in the back row and they'll swing their sword and somebody across the map will get hit. But in this game they actually move to the enemy sprite and physically damage the sprite itself, so that's kinda cool. Anyway, we're going to, uh save the game right here, if it'll let me, and, what's that, okay, um, do I, I thought I could save outside, what's this, um, can't switch to this character, oh, okay, so that's how I switch dudes, that's status screen, okay, so apparently I can't save outside, I can only save at a dragon tower, huh, interesting, but, uh, anyway, this city, you have to enter this city at nighttime. if you enter it during the day, then these guards are awake, and, uh, you know, another cliche of this thing started. So, yes, I would like to tell you my story. And, uh, we are at 18 minutes right now, but I did spend four minutes on that intro part that I would have liked to do earlier. Um, so I'm going to explore this town for a little bit first. And, uh, I suppose I'll probably end the video before we go into the second dungeon. That seems fair. Take a S potion, I guess it was? I don't know. There's a lot of consumables in this game. I don't really know exactly what they do. Some of them hurt, some of them heal. So, oh, gotta avoid that guy. I don't know what house we can get into, if we can get into there or not. I'm gonna try. Nope! Can't go in there. Who goes there? Kicking me out. No big deal. Just go right back in. Just gotta navigate through here, trying to pick up all the treasures. I assume I can't go in that house then either. But I can go up in here, see if I can find any loots. Looks like loot to me. 150 GP. 150 GP. Nothing in here, nothing in here. Nothing else. Alright, well that's cool though. 300 gold. And keep on going. I don't know if I can get here. Yep, I can get in there. Cool. Is there anything, though? It doesn't look like there's actually anything in here, so that's frustrating. Oh, well. Sometimes there's apples in those little, uh... 
bowl slash bin slash whatever circular things over there. Um, this game doesn't have anything in the random crates though, but uh, sometimes you can find stuff all over the place. Typical good sign of a good RPG. I wish there was a run button, but games in this day and age didn't really have it. They had sprint shoes in place. Um, is there anything over here? One of these ways is the way I have to go. Weapon shop. Investigate in here. Hey, what are you actually doing here? Why are you up? Why are you awake? I guess while I'm here, I'll sell some stuff, eh? Um, I'll sell my dirk. Oops. Goes for 22. Yeah, I'll sell it. Um, but I'm not sure if I can use any of these on a different character, so I'll hold on to them for now. Um, and looking at this stuff, uh, yeah, I'll just hold off on buying things. So I think I get some more weapons coming up soon, and they're certainly not necessary, so... Uh, let's see here. Anything else running around? So you definitely don't have to do this stuff, you can go right to... What the hell, cat? You just jumped on the back of my chair! Like, literally, there's no... Oh my goodness. Obviously, like, every chair, most chairs have, like, a back, otherwise it's called a stool. And he just kind of hopped on top of it. He's dangling off. What are you doing, you feline? I don't think I can get in there. That dude seems to be looking at it. But we'll try. Awesome. Made it. Hey, and there's some treasure. Um... While I was saying that you don't need to uh, go through all this stuff and try and find loot, at the same time, it's a good thing if you do, because you might not get another chance to come back and get it all. So, um, it's unnecessary stuff, but hey, I just picked up a lot of gold for it for free. So, um, while I do want to take care of this LP on a little bit of a quicker side, it's still an RPG and I'm still a completionist, so I want to grab everything that I can, um, show off any secrets that I have, so that's just how I play RPGs, that's how I am. I don't want to, I don't want to leave loot hanging around, but uh, here we are, the entrance to our next dungeon, and uh, the main doors is where we need to go, so I'm going to just do a little bit more exploring before we end this video, um, since we did get four minutes of introduction crap. I'm just going to look around for a little bit, I don't think there's anything to grab, I think this is just empty programming space. Yeah, there's there's nothing actually up around here, so no big deal. Open this door, check my status. I'm missing two hit points, that's not a big deal. I am level seven, so... And then we're gonna end our episode here, guys, so thanks for watching part two. Be sure to stay tuned for anything else more with my massively increased upload schedule of God knows how many videos a week now. So thanks for watching guys, take it easy, peace.